Okay. Back to Mist Uru. Now, I believe last time I was playing the game, I'd finished the path of the shell. I'd, I'd found the way to the tree through Kadish's puzzle of sorts. The puzzle that took lines from the Watcher's books. All of these books here, the prophecies that the Makers supposedly told him, took very specific lines that we found on various slips of paper scattered throughout Erkana and Anone that told us to wait. Yep, that's right. Wait. And it turns out I waited for almost 15 minutes as, uh, as the clock started ticking. But we were able to make it to the tree and find our way oddly to Mist Island. If you, if you notice, we have just mist here. And as far as I could tell, uh, yeah, if you notice that you even have it in the picture here, there was the shelf that had a little bit of clothing that looked like a um, sort of an androgynous, a, a male or female version of Catherine's outfit from Riven. And it shows the areas where Cirrus and Akinar's books had been, but everything else was blocked off. The way to open up this, the case, the bookcase and everything was gone. It was just completely sealed off. So I suppose that's a, a little fun thing right there. And if you notice, those are all of the books. Now, what was interesting here with Arcana was we had actually found a chamber that had these odd pellets. They sort of created a weird, um, oh, it was like a weird effect with the water. It would make it bubble and turn bright. But I couldn't find a way th like through. There was this odd area with a hole in the ground. Now, one thing that I, I thought that I should go back and do actually, um, so there was that vault on Anone. And I'd, I'd pulled the lever and I'd skipped it because I was like, oh no, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I've ruined everything. So I'm going to go here just to see if it goes back to the stage four. And if it doesn't go back to stage four, then that means I have to repeat the process. Oh, no, I don't. It's still in stage four. Okay. That's a good thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the lever this time and actually see it through. Because I actually didn't wait. I, I feared that it would change, put the world forward so I wouldn't be able to explore the loop. But I did. Uh, I didn't, I just poured it out. So I'm going to actually wait and see what happens here because I, I, I just freaked before. Whoa! So it does open it. I never expected that. Actually, this... It, it almost looks exactly like the hallway that we walk down every time we want to link from one part of the world to the next. Ah, and this... This shows you... A preview. Oh, is there a lower chamber down there? Yeah, this shows you a preview of the statue that's being constructed. Are these ladders? Yeah, they are ladders. Yeah, I specifically remember this chair from my original playthrough of the game, so I was surprised I hadn't encountered it. Oh. There's a shell symbol to get you in here. That means you don't have to go through the process all over again. Whoa. Where is this going to take us? Oh man, are... Oh. So that takes us down and up. 
this a, is this another tram ride? I wouldn't be surprised if it was another tram ride. Let's go back down and try some of the other levers. I like how I'm in the maintainer suit just going. What's this I'm sinking down into? Okay, so we know that that takes us back up. There's this lever and this one. What does this do? Oh, that turns us around? What is that? Yeah, it doesn't allow me to go forward because that's a dead end. I suppose there's only one way to go. this at all. Whoa. There's just a waterfall and two. So that will take us back down the tunnel. And this brings us forward. Is no, there isn't a place for me to go up here. I suppose onward. Why would Kadish have this? What does it lead to? Is this... Is this another structure in Anune? Or is it somewhere else entirely? So we're getting water. Yeah, there's... It shows another tunnel. It shows the water again. Nah, why does it... Why does it have you stop at these increments? It's a little confusing to me. Well, let's keep going. red lights around here. I notice that there are these levers on either side. I wonder if it... Oh, it actually instantly switches me around again. like I'm some evil mastermind. Kiddush, I mean, he was in a way. Oh. Is that another puzzle? Oh. Oh, those are more robes. Probably Kiddush's robes. 557. Now... I wonder if this will give us more information about the path of the shell that I hadn't gotten prior, or if we had solved the puzzle just by waiting long enough and it doesn't matter regardless. Let's see, there's, is that? No, I thought for a moment that there was a book sitting around and I'm like, oh no. Anything I can do with these gears? Nah. It's another puzzle with those symbols. Now, are these the ones that are... I, I did make an annotation of the ones that were actually in his... His, um... Yeah, these do look like... So, back in the gallery chamber that had the music, beautiful music that I had sung for you guys, uh, there were eight symbols in stained glass and it went this 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 and this on the one side 
and it went this, this. Oh, but that's the wrong symbol. And then this on the other side. Unless maybe I didn't look at the stained glass correctly. I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it in the order that I saw it in the chamber. That. 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 And then this. 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 And that. It worked. Woo! That was an easy puzzle. Well, it was because I was observant and looked at the stained glass that was in the upper level. Wow, okay. We have a way to this chamber now. I don't see anything out there in particular. Oh, man. This is it. That, so... That's the weird chamber with the water and stuff. And I was up here. There are these weird people, creatures, that are dark. There's numbers. There's all these numbers. Let me go back in my notes. Okay, so for, for the weird chamber with the hole, this is what I was looking for in Arcana. I was gonna go back and just do the Uru stuff, uh, the main game, but I, I just knew that I was missing something here. It's a good thing I went back. So 625 is the number of the Watcher. I remember that. And then there's, is that 325? And then there's this weird, it's 250, and is that 410 or 610? It just shows, yeah, it's like the Barrow Chamber. Oh. Is this another number system? I mean, maybe it's, it's supposed to show me how much time I'm supposed to rate, wait, what the... Wait, it's not letting me go? It's still going through all those numbers. Oh, there's another linking tome, another linking book. Well, what are, do any of these buttons show something? Oh, wow. Is this the machine that controls the four ages? Oh, it could be. This is so gorgeous. Is there anything else interesting about this gear? Oh, I, did I miss the red? There was definitely a red mark. Hmm. I suppose I should have waited for it. It'll be a long while before it goes back. Then I would have been able to figure out whatever the, like, it was like a 60 or something else. But this is a new tome that I've never been able to find before. Oh, is this the lower chamber that I've been looking for? Oh, 
it is. And there's one more pattern on the wall, but there's no lines. Oh, actually there's this too, 532. I wonder, these are in the fifth book. I wonder if it gives me clues into the tree itself. So there's nothing else here except for this pool of water and this symbol. So I think what I'm going to have to do is go to Arcana, get one of those tablets, drop it in here, and then somehow link here so that then I can see what kind of light it sheds on the wall. Oh, I remember this part in vivid detail from my previous playthrough a long, long time ago. It must have been 10 years now. Hopefully, because I linked to that, that will... No, I'll always be able to go back to that spot in Anone. Okay, so first I need to go here and use that shell symbol. Yeah, we're in the chamber with the stuff. So I'll get this. I'll take a hold of that. I'll put it there. Ploop. It's starting to go. I better get going before the chemical reaction dissipates. get into that book which takes me here and then I go in this oh was it not light enough did it not create the correct chemical reaction Yeah, because unless it creates the proper light, I'm not going to be able to see this. Was there something that had to do with the numbers? 625, 325, 250. And it was either like 610 or something? Is it a ratio? Do the pellets that I create have different makeups? Hmm. That's confusing. Because, yeah, these, these squares are important for some kind of puzzle. I'm just not familiar with what precisely. Oh, yep, that's the chamber. I mean, do I have to chuck multiple in them? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and bring it with me to this one. And that's going to drop it in the water. Maybe this is a way for me to test it. Nah, it doesn't seem particularly potent. I wonder what would make it more so. Is it the number of turbines I have going? Is it the, the levels that I have for the other machines? Maybe I'm only supposed to have one machine going at a time. 
And that looks like it's a door that should open. But under what circumstances would it open? If I have the right ratio for the one below? Yeah, are there any ladders or things that I can... And there's really not much to this machine. It seems to scan them and then chuck them into the pool below. Yeah, that's the only place to go. I, I believe I set them all up properly. Unless it has to do with uh, those generators. The generators that I had in the other room. Because maybe the four of them feed into this somehow. Yeah, I'll have to look. Go up this ladder. Is it based off the four numbers, maybe? Do I have to get things to add up to it? Though each of the four bars has, f or three bars, I think, has 50 on it. Which means I could only ever go up to 150. I, I got the right measurements from the peculiar drawings on the sides of the wall. Those might influence what kind of pellets are being made, maybe? Are they off now? What happened? They are off. Did, did something go wrong? What turned off their power? Ah, this is no good. get that running again. Oh, unless that hand symbol was supposed to help me. Maybe bringing up the elevator turns those off? Or maybe I have to get all of these functioning, too. Oh, let's see. Let's see what I can do. It is possible that I just didn't have enough oomph in those pellets. I always have a hand symbol to get to the end, which is good. So if I need to turn all of these back on, then that's fine. Fine with me. But will those me machines be reset? I, I have to ensure that they can be. Well, I don't need to go up anymore. So I can at least give them their power or turn things back around. Yeah, because maybe those pellets just don't have the oomph they need. Okay, I do have everything but one working. So 
I'll turn these all around. Maybe the yellow will bring them back. Okay. Got that. And I'm going to make sure that they're set to the the proper settings. And then if that's done, then I'll also refill the water in this particular vent system. Or not particular vent system, in this uh, device so that then all of them are producing power, all of them are set properly, and then hopefully the pellets will work. Because I just have a feeling we have a bad batch of pellets. What I'm wondering is, even if we do find that, that symbol that's down in the cavern, where will we apply it? I, I don't believe I've ever seen a device, a machine that is exactly like that. Oh yes, they're on. And it looks like they're all set properly. Let me check them all before I turn them on because I, I think as soon as I turn one on, all of them start functioning. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I got them set up properly. These are with the settings 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 30, and then 20. Because looking back at my notes, I believe that those were definitely the amounts. My notes are such a mess because I was using them to uh, craft everything else. Yeah, 40, 30, 20. Looks, looks good. They just need to be activated. And I suppose bringing up the machine had actually deactivated them. All of them seem to be working. So I'm going to go see if these pellets do anything differently. Now that they have the power restored, I didn't know that using that elevator and keeping it up turned all of them off. That or there was a specific ticking that was going on as well. Did I do something wrong? Because I... It doesn't seem to be activated. Am I missing something from the other room? Whoa, that's weird. I don't see myself crawling up. <laughs> To go this way. Uh, I wish I could click to denote that I want to get onto a ladder because the problem is if I try scooting forward, then it automatically takes me back.
Yeah, all the machines are functioning. But now the main machine isn't. It doesn't seem like anything's venting over here. And the water should be fine. Maybe I wasn't supposed to... Actually, I wonder if I can jump down. That'd be funny. I wonder if I wasn't supposed to turn the mechanisms around. It's not allowing me to jump? No. This is puzzling. Because I, I have the proper settings. I mean, there was that weird timetable that was shown in the other room. A, a number of some sort. Yeah, this device is definitely supposed to give me the kind of glowing piece of equipment that I need. Hmm. And now the funny thing is, I have no way to get back down unless I go all the way through Arcana again. Oh, I just set myself up for failure. That's embarrassing. I, huh. I, I thought that that was the only way to get the machines active again. That means I'm gonna have to run all the way from the front. <laughs> I think it's, is it this path? I believe it is. And I don't even have a train to take me this time. Well, as I'm running over, I have a lot of things to ponder. Namely, oh yeah, that's another thing. Also, are there any slips around here for me? It'd be really nice if I could find a Relto slip somewhere. But yeah, while I'm running, I need to think things over. So the notes that Kiddish had showed the chamber, showed the creatures in the dark, and how there's that shaft. And I know that that one tome is a very easy way to get into the shaft. And this actually brings us into the upper part of the shaft. Maybe... I'm not supposed to use shell symbols? No, that doesn't make sense. Oh no. Oh no. I... I think I'm gonna have to go through this again. Like, from the top. I actually have to sacrifice the, the shell symbol that I had. Because the only way to get in here is to use this machine. And if I, if I can't manually bring this machine out... Oh, right. 
Because my main problem is I can't, I can't jump to various places. Oh, no, there is this. Okay. Little interruption there. Okay. Yeah, because I, I really don't want to have to go all the way back. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try jumping. I mean, if I can't jump... Part of it is, what makes the machine active? Is it... Is it the... The four, the four things have to be functioning. They have to be heating up the water. Oh! Wait, what? Now it's blue? They... They just look like the same capsules as before. Let's see what happens when we go here with the first one. Is it going to be good? Wait, what is that? I don't know if I ever saw it with the blue light before. Whoa! It's... It's making the water glow. That that's perfect. That's that's exactly what we need. 